Hi, Max here. The video you're about to see is about the project I've been working on for a very long time. We are talking years of research and iterations. It is a triumph of ingenuity and hard work. This project is the reason why I started my YouTube channel in the first place. Let me present to you the Star Wars BB-8 droid. Okay, I admit, it doesn't look that impressive, but bear with me. This build is very challenging, super fun and still ongoing. I started this project five years ago, so you will see recordings from back then, before fame, success and all the high budgets I have now. So this is how it's supposed to look like once it's finished. Pretty cool, huh? Let me walk you through all the challenges of the build. Quote. Господь. The first challenge is this guy. Stop messing with my videos. First of all, the body. A 50 cm diameter sphere that should be smooth enough to roll in any direction, but at the same time light and with easy access to the inside. Second of all, motion. How do you even drive and steer this thing? And the final challenge is the head. A dome that balances on top of the sphere moves easily in all directions and rotates 360 degrees. I'm gonna tackle all the challenges one by one, so let's start with the body. BB-8 has very impressive mechanics, but one of the main challenges of this project is the body. And one of the options here is to buy two hemispheres from acrylic or polycarbonate, but the price in that case would be more than $500. Potentially, an easier way would be to 3D print it. But practically printing this kind of an object is not easy on regular sized 3D printers and is not very cheap either. So option that I chose at first was to use two soft hemispheres from ABS plastic reinforced with the multiple layers of fiberglass on the inside. The resulting sphere is quite rigid, but far from perfect surface-wise. So finally, I abandoned this idea and decided to buy a 3D printer. Best decision of my life so far. In this build, I'm using amazingly designed and 3D printable body by Kerr Christie. And this is why the main focus of my videos will be mechanisms and programming, not the body itself. For a drive system, there are two popular solutions. The first one is hamster ball, which is exactly what it sounds like. But instead of a hamster, imagine an RC car inside. Second option is drivetrain. The idea is that the whole body acts like a big wheel, usually with a pendulum inside to be able to steer it. I went with this one, and that's what I have designed. Two motors on the side are mounted directly into the sphere, held by 3D printed parts and joined together with aluminum beams. This pendulum in the middle can swing from side to side, allowing robot to turn. And the center of mass is as low as possible to make it stable. Also, I want BB-8 to be able to rotate on the spot, so that's why I designed this mechanism with motors on the sides. In this video, I'll assemble the drive and test steering mechanism. Let's assemble the main axis and see how it fits inside the sphere. Alright, so the main axis and holders are in place, looks rather stable and robust, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, here there will be all the circuitry and tilting mechanism, so the next step is to assemble and to test it.
Right, so it's time for a test. Let's see. So it seems to be working pretty well. However, what I noticed is that the sprocket is a bit wobbly due to the loads involved. And I think the problem is that I 3D printed the body of gearbox and I'm not sure it can handle this kind of weight. However, since the mechanism is intended only to slightly tilt the sphere, not to lift it, hopefully it will be enough. So it's time to mount it inside the sphere and to test it. So, remember when I said that the 3D printing is the best way to transfer the idea from your head into a real object? So, it turned out that it still is, but the problem is that if the idea is screwed up, then the object will also be screwed up. So, what happened was that when I designed this mechanism, I didn't account for the width of these two things, and it just won't fit. So, what I hope to do is actually to to cut two slots here and here to be able to push it through and hopefully it's gonna work. So I was able to melt through the plastic and make these two slots and managed to put it inside but another failure that I have that I have to put this thing inside this thing but it as you can see will not let it uh, swing to the position it wants so I will have to disassemble this part with uh, this part being inside the sphere and then assemble it inside the sphere Alright, so we are ready for testing, everything is set, okay, let's do this. Whoa, whoa, easy. If it will fall over the table, you will see me fail miserably, but I think it's, it's alright. Of course it's a bit unstable, but... It's okay. I think it's gonna be okay when it's gonna be like a smooth sphere with the butter panels. So for now, the, sy the system seems to be working and I'm pretty pleased with that. All right, so the proof of concept is done and I'm pretty happy with how it went. Of course, it's a bit uh, wobbly uh, when it moves, but I think we can solve it in the future by adding some more weight here at the bottom. Then, of course, when we will add uh, the body panels here, it will be more smooth. So, uh, hopefully, it will move more, more smoothly from side to side. So, I think, yeah, we're pretty happy and uh, we, can, we can proceed with this mechanism. And the next steps will be uh, to create a head on the top, which will move here. Uh, then the body panels, uh, then programming and sound effects. Oh, yeah. That will be sound effects.